religion at all. Every single person wants to wake up every morning knowing that he is safe in his own house. He wants that his children who are being brought up, they are safe and they are respected. Today, this event which has been organized, this journey of global peace, this journey of love, this journey of harmony is not only for one religion, not only for one sect, but it is for all of mankind. I had the honor to recite in front of you from the Quran in which Allah Azzawajal says, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةَ لِلْعَالَمِينَ And we have not sent you, O Muhammad, except as a mercy for the world. The Prophet of Islam, he is not just a mercy for the Muslims. But the Prophet of Islam, God says that I have sent you as a mercy for mankind, as a mercy for all of the worlds. So if we want love, if we want harmony, if we want peace, which is the backbone and it is an essential element of every society, of every culture, peace is essential. And this is why I am very pleased today to see that people from different religions, different cultures, different backgrounds have gathered here only because we want peace, we want harmony, and we want love to spread not just throughout the world, but especially we have come here being British citizens. And as part of the British value is that we want love, peace, and harmony. And I would like to end with a saying from Amir al muminin Imam al muttaqin Ali ibn Abi Talib والسلام, who was the cousin of the Holy Prophet of Islam. Imam Ali sums up what I think Georgie is doing, what I think everyone in this room wants to achieve. Imam Ali says, a person is either your brother in faith, a person is either your brother in faith, or he is your equal in humanity. These are the teachings that every Muslim is taught and should be taught because we all want love, we all want peace, and inshallah, we are all living together in harmony and this will continue. And I pray that may Allah Azzawajal, may the Lord bless every single one of you because whenever we greet another person in Islam, we are taught to say salamun alaykum yani the meaning is simple peace be upon you may we continue to follow the path of peace the path of love and the path of harmony may you all stay blessed wassalamun alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh